Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I am going to share my new mixed media bottle art project where I have worked on different media on a bottle. If you like the video, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Now, let's see how I transform the bottle. I first have applied some gesso on an empty glass bottle. Gesso is a primer that helps to prime the glass bottle before working on it. This will help to get the colors fixed on the bottle. I have got a tutorial video on how to make gesso at home and I have given the link in the description below. If you would like to check that, you can check the description of this video. You will get to know how to make gesso at home. For the model work, I have used epoxy clay. Epoxy clay has got two parts of it. One part is the resin part and the other part is the hardener part. I have mixed both the parts in equal proportion to get my clay ready. This clay is an air dry clay and this is pretty good to work with. This can be a replacement for the polymer clay. some abstract lines on the bottle. Here I have made a peacock and some leaves and flowers. Then I used the epoxy clay to make the peacock model. You can follow the video on how to make the peacock here. You can use some water to give a polished look on the epoxy clay. If you get something wrong while working on epoxy clay, you can always use water to correct it. I made different textures on the wings and the neck of the peacock using some clay tools. If you don't have the tools, you can use pen or any similar tool that you may find at your home. It should be fine to use any other tool to get the textures done.
Once the peacock was done, I made some simple flowers on the bottle using the clay. Then I did some relief work on the bottle. For that I have used a tissue paper where I have used a wet towel to make some threads out of tissue paper. You can follow the video to know how I have made the threads out of tissue papers. First I got 2 cm strips out of the tissue papers. Then I used the strips to get my thread ready out of the tissue papers for which I have used the wet towel. These threads has to be dried before using them. I dried them overnight. Then I traced some more flowers and leaves on the bottle using a pencil. Then I glued the tissue paper threads on the traced lines. This can be used as a vase, however this bottle was a closed one, so I decided to decorate the cap as well. Then I kept it to dry naturally. Then I applied acrylic black color on the entire bottle. Once the acrylic color was dried, I applied some golden metallic color on the bottle using a sponge dauber. This is one of my favorite technique to get antique look on the bottles. To get a perfect antique look, you need to make sure that the sponge dauber is relatively dried before applying it on the bottle. Once the golden metallic was dried completely, I sprayed some varnish on the bottle. You can stop the process here. 
However, I decided to add some rhinestones on the bottle. So I glued some blue and yellow rhinestones on the bottle. That's how I transformed the bottle and got the final look that I desired for this bottle decoration. If you've got any questions on the procedure or the materials of this project, you can always write to me in the comment section below. If you like the video, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll be back with some more interesting projects and some crafting tips. Till then, happy crafting!